can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Darkest Dungeon. Well, the characters have a valiant spirit, but if I am blatantly honest, man, we have had a rough couple of weeks in this game. Two weeks ago, we had a total party wipe on this playthrough. Last week, we had a total party wipe on the uh, DLC playthrough. And being completely honest, it's absolutely discouraging. Number one, because I'm playing on the easiest setting on the game, so I expect, you know, a slight level of leniency. Number two, because this uh, series gets hardly any um, views. She searches where others will not go and sees what others will not see. And so it's difficult for me to uh, have the motivation, to keep the motivation to press on um, and advance the game further. Let's see, what are we not at 100% on? Stagecoach is, the blacksmith is, the guild is, survivalist is almost there, 80% tavern, the abbey is fully upgraded, sanitarium, we need 60 busts, that seems excessive, but I know that we can do it, we're a third of the way there already. The Nomad Wagon, I don't think I've put any uh, effort into this because I don't ever buy trinkets. I suppose if I fully upgraded it, there would be some worthwhile trinkets to be found. Um, In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. But it's fine. Alright, Ellers is pretty, pretty bad off. May not meditate. Self-worship, possessed by demons. Corvid's blindness. That would be a good one to get rid of. Uh, drop into the... Well, I think prayer might probably cover it. Ponchardon. You could probably pray as well. Uh, Curtis. Join him. That's a bunch of prayer going on. Uh, Boy Sivan. You might actually be fine just at the sanitarium. Looks like Rainbow Court has some stuff to deal with. I think the reduced accuracy is super important, especially since she uses a bunch of ranged skills. I don't think it affects range specifically. I think accuracy is just overall attacks. Okay, so I believe that that is treatment done. Okay, uh... So, in the cove, it looks like we have a low-level quest we could take our new antiquarian out on. In the Warrens, we have a quest that we could take her on. It's a little bit more difficult quest, but I think she could handle it. She's got level 3 gear and skills. Berguet could go with her. Um, Hodine, Huguenin, Montague. Maybe we do that. Three grain sacks gives us a bumper crop. I think that gives us free um, supplies or something like that. And we still have to make progress to a boss in the Warrens and the Ruins both. So this isn't a bad plan here. Let's throw him in. Odin. Uh, Berguet, you can come along as a healer. And then Castillon. Castellon, sorry. Is pink really your best... It's not bad. It's not bad, actually. Regret, you're fine. I don't think I've ever changed the Abomination's clothes. Green and purple is probably my favorite so far. Yeah, I think we'll go green-purple. Level 4 everything, so that's good. Okay. Huguenin, level 4 everything. Uh, is this a medium? 
It is a medium run. Resupply. Strange powders. One companion boost. Resistances to everything. Okay, so she's got stress relief for people. He's got healing. This increases the stress of all companions. Prevent the nighttime ambush. That's good. That still increases stress, though. Increases stress of all companions. Okay, minus stress for all companions. So that'll be worthwhile. He's got healing and encouragement. So does the leper here. Quarantine might not be a bad one to take. Maybe instead of pep talk. So we could either damage ourselves or we could uh, reduce our own stress. I think I may try to get uh, quarantine for him. It's way up towards the top. Okay. Uh, what does this one do? Resistances for self only. I think we'll swap the pep talk here. That should be fine. And let's be sure to be on the same one. Uh, revenge. Increase damage, accuracy, crit, reduce dodge, increases damage taken. Withstand is pretty good. Intimidate is also pretty good. I think instead of revenge, we'll take purge. Buff self for accuracy. And then we've got the chop. Withstand should be okay. He has nothing to change. He's got our typical uh, layout. I could go with a sacrificial stab or demon's pull instead of some of these hexes. Or even instead of the abyssal artillery. Because that's versus Eldritch. We're headed to the Warrens. There's probably not going to be many Eldritch there. Clears corpses as well. Okay, the dodge buff. Uh, I think we'll go with the fortifying vapors. That should be good. Increase the blight skill chance uh, and reduces blight resistance. Uh, we have D stealth with the leper. Okay, so let's see how this rolls. Nothing wrong with that one, I'd say. Take a quarter less damage. I think we'll go with that one this time. I always have a difficult time picking between those. The virtue chance is already offset by the bonus. Stun skill. We're not using stun. We're using debuff and move. So the debuff skill chance and increase to crit I think is worth it. Debuff and move skill. We'll take that. I won't worry about the stress until uh, until it kills us, basically. Reduce stress. Minus 40% on transformation stress. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if that means uh, he gets less stress when he transforms. I I mean, I, I assume it has to be what it means. Because when he transforms back... Stress plus 8. So minus 40% would be like minus 1, right? Or minus 2. No, no, 40%. That's almost half, so that'd be at least 3 reduction. So it'd be a stress of plus 5. And see, change to human, uh, other heroes minus 2 stress. Does it stress him out to 
change? I don't know. Anyway, let's get to it. I don't have all day. Minus one speed isn't that bad. And the increased protection will help us out immensely. Reduced healing received. A uh, bunch of resistances, but reduced HP. Accuracy crit. Increased to damage. I really think we could sell some of these, but I'm not hard for money, so... Hard up for money, I think is the term. Portraits I'm not concerned with, but I'm sure we'll find busts along the way. Beast Slayer's Ring I don't think we have, so that's going to be a unique item. Alright. All of these. At least three of those. A couple of these. A couple more of those. Uh, I think holy water is a big thing in the Warrens. I could be wrong. I don't want to overload myself, though. Yeah, actually, from what I can tell, we don't need the anti-venom at all. So this gives us sudden room. Uh, scouting chance is only 25%. That's not exciting, but we'll see how we go. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. Yeah, I only just realized during the um, loading screen that we're actually meant to be gathering grain sacks. So that's also going to take up some room in the old inventory. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter much. Reduced dodge might help out for all of these. Uh, if we pulled one of these guys up to the front, I think it would reduce their abilities. It's also down to three health as well. Yeah, he can only bite here. I say only. It's pretty serious still. Uh, a bile against these two. 40% resistance. We got a crit though. Nice. We blighted them both. So they'll be dead in two rounds. Yeah. We could probably invigorate everybody. Would be nice. I'd like for her to not die. Would be ideal. It's taking at least eight damage. Nice dodge there. Ouch. Not quite so nice there. Yeah, I figured the leper would go last, and they're really focusing down my healer, but he is wily as anything I've ever seen. We could purge. Back to the pit. There weren't any bodies uh, too clear, but it still gives us some damage. All right, go ahead and fortify yourself. Nice. That'll offset Great the next. The weapon that cuts on its own. He should die on his own as well. Uh, so if we reduce the dodge for him, we should be able to get a good hit from anybody. Really, a manacles wouldn't hurt. Onslaught. Wouldn't hurt us, it hurts them, though. Them nice, we got some busts in the process. Uh, only two more damage she's taking. That's not considerable. Should be fine. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. You know, I fully agree, so we're going to leave the rest of that loot here. Let's continue on. Ouch. Oh, wow. 4,500, but these don't stack, is the only problem. So if we find something else... Um... We're not going to be able to stack them. We don't need cash, either. Really, what I'm here for are busts, most of all. And with these antiques, gems, and stuff like that stacking up, we should be able to find everything that we need as far as cash goes. And I come across crests, of course. Uh, we don't need deeds. We do need crests. We could trade deeds, but I just don't think it's worth it at this stage. Nice. A little bit of scouting here. Oh, wow. A lot of scouting, actually. And a battle. Two curios. We might... We might go back past there. I always forget what this is.
holy water does something. Okay, as it turns out, uh, holy water is a debuff if I use it. We have the best chance using nothing on it, as a matter of fact. There's a 16% chance that we get a negative quirk. Positive quirk. Irrepressible. Let's see how that works out for us. Plus 5 virtue, okay. So, what are we sitting at right now for virtue chance? It's pretty high. How would we go about finding out? These are resistances here. Protection, dodge, crit, damage. Huh. I don't see it here, but we have uh, really high. Not only from the quest, but also other bonuses. Oh, I almost forgot about this. 70. Okay, he's got the best chance. Well done. Okay, pretty serious battle here. Let's go with a... a light. We could try to bring him to the front. I don't think that's a bad idea. Okay, it worked. Ouch. And she's got super stress, actually. She may become afflicted before we are able to camp. Ooh, creeping cough. So he has been diseased. Oh, he's going to move forward now. Yeah. 14 damage, too. I may need a transformation here. Yep, yeah, there was a bit of a heals. Uh, reduce dodge and speed. His dodge isn't that high. Protection is what I'm most worried about. Crit mod of plus 10.5. Or we could continuously buff our rake damage, which starts out on a minus 50. It would take at least two to get it almost to 100. Let's try this. He dodged. His move resistance, though, I didn't notice was 120%. Yeah, we just need to start trying to stack damage on this guy. Uh, get down for you. So that they'll stop targeting you. Or at least we'll be less likely to hit you. Dodge for everyone. How long does this last? Two rounds. It's not really considerable. A rage then instead. Eldritch pull. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. He's been pretty effective with those dodges there. Ouch. Not there. Yeah, the, the runs. Slightest laps in concentration. Once again, we're having really bad luck here. These guys are all level 4, except for her, and he's even level 5. We're still not having an easy time of it. Let's hit this guy with the debuff. It worked. And a chip shot. For one damage more than what we had last time, when he's got half the protection that he had before. What was that? Trot retreat, I assume? Okay, a rake then for these two. And uh, Festering Vapors would kill him off, which I think is acceptable. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Vulnerability for her. Reduce her dodge. And hopefully the Leopard can finish her off, because she can't move back. If we could pull off... Uh, I was kind of hoping to do a Purge, uh, but it's understandable. Annihilated. Have a nice day. Pig Spear, that's for all of us. Ow. That's a lot of damage across the board. I didn't realize he had the capability of that. I don't think we've seen it before, as a matter of fact. So, a Rage is going to be our best damage here. Uh, heals on yourself. Nice crit. Definitely clutch right there. Uh, another weakening curse, I'd say. Try and compound the lack of protection on him so that we can do a big chip chop. That wasn't bad. Crunching backhand. Okay. Resist, please. Good job. I could really uh, go for a party heal, to be honest. I think he'll heal himself when he changes back. He doesn't. Yeah. 
I don't think we need that. Uh, if I remember right, there's actually nothing to use on this thing, and it's always good. Never mind. Okay, the virtue chance paid off. Can foster hope and resilience. Yeah, I actually misread the. Uh, the top thing is 50% plus 50 stress. I misread that as a negative, which is a huge error. Let's go to this empty room. Have a bit of a rest on our way over. Hunger. A little bit of healing, that's nice. Maybe we can find some more busts. Nope, if crest though. Treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Let's exchange that cash. Any scouting? Nothing yet. All right, let's go around, and then we'll come back through here if we need need to. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Like I say, we're not too worried about cash right now. Nice dodge. Okay. It is only a 25% chance of scouting. Uh, looks like we had no luck with any of these. So it must be a key. No, I'm kidding. It's definitely holy water for this one. Treasures. Nothing much that we can take, though. 375. These are worth 500 each. So these stacking up is a lot more important. And like I say, we don't need cash. We'll probably find more by the time we use up some of these items as well. Oh, no. We've been surprised. It's not a terrible arrangement. If we get the leopard to the front, that'll be most of what we need. A nice dodge for everyone would be ideal. I don't know how far the Abomination can move, but as long as he's in the center two uh, positions, he will uh, have the ability to act. Nice dodge. He's been doing very well with those. Okay, he can only move forward one, but that's fine. He's in a good place here. Uh, Nobody's stealthed right now. We could reduce the damage and speed of somebody. I just don't think it's quite worth it yet. Knockback isn't really necessary. If we could kill this guy right off, he wouldn't even get a move. Excellent. Excellent. Oh man, that's so good. We could stack a dodge. We could also try to do some damage. Okay, we did blight her. She resisted the debuff, though, to reduce her um, resistance. Okay, if he goes before either of them, uh, they're not going to have the ability... Well, no. I guess there's only two spaces. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. Nice. So she's dead on her turn, right? Yeah, she only has one health left. Ooh, a dodge from him. With a dodge of nine. That's pretty insane. 26. So he's down by 15. So is he. Nice, 20. So that's a full heal. And he resisted the... Uh, the stuff. Let's do a three here. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Uh-huh. Nice. Resisted the bleeding. That's always ideal. Stunned as well. That's perfect. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I really think that in this game, uh, they could do with um, allowing stuns to reduce the enemy's dodge to zero. I think that would be understandable. You know what I mean? It would also make stuns a bit OP, perhaps. When they're already P. Oh. We got scouting at random? Oh no, we must have picked up a map and I just misread it. That's good. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. So we've got a curio, a trap, a random battle. 
Not sure what's in this room. Oh, these are herbs, aren't they? And they give us a buff. I think it increases damage as well. Uh, He's already got pretty good damage, so let's give it to him instead. I believe it's damage until camp. Yeah, 30%. So that's pretty decent. And it uses one that we haven't uh, used yet. Nice. Very nice. I uh, can almost use another torch. I don't think I'm going to quite do that yet, though. Here we go to a battle. Oh, no. We've got a madman. We've got two uh, stealth characters as well. So let's immediately dodge. I'd love to get an Eldritch pull in on this madman. Nice crit. Beautiful, actually. So he's down to 10. A stun would be pretty awesome. Fantastic. He's down to 4 health now. And intimidation. To de stealth this guy, I think is going to be good. If I remember right, their attacks allow them to move back. I could be wrong about that. We could do with the camp just to heal up pretty soon. Ouch. Lots of damage to the tank here, which is pretty ideal. Uh. Festering Vapors. It only gives him um, two Blight damage per turn. But if we could score the two damage with the attack, we did. Oh, perfect. So he's dead on his turn. Slowly, gently. That couldn't have gone better. Let's try and stun this fool. It worked. Okay, dodge. Oh, man. That's quite a bit of damage, actually, but we need to heal up here. For a five, that's negligible. He resisted the bleed, at least. A big chip chop right here would be ideal. Dodge. They have pretty high protection um, for how they look. All right, she heals herself automatically. More dodge, I think, is in order. He was doing great with the dodge, but now he's having a little bit harder time. Um, how are they for Blight Resistance? Pretty high, actually. We'd be better off with a stun. Um, we have a chance to kill this one. Reduce damage, reduce speed. Let's try and stun this guy, then. Okay, it did work. And we could, uh, purge? Increase accuracy for ourselves? Guaranteed kill if we hit? There we go. Give them no quarter. He does less damage, so that's why I stunned the other guy. Uh, go ahead and try yourself. 12, that's better. That's much better. Okay. Hmm. It's still painful. Try a small heals up here. Increase resistances, though. Six is the max damage we could do, and he's got the buff against stun. Let's try here. Minimum damage. Okay, a big chop would be ideal. Nice. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. We can weaken him. We probably should have healed here, but we will be camping soon. A zero. Okay, good. Guarantee some healing. Wow. Ears. Vision. The end approaches. Yeah, it really would have been good. Wow, nice critical. Really would have been good to get a decent heal from him. It's rare though. It's always rare. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Let's take those heirlooms, as usual. We're getting close towards the end, so we may camp in this next room. I believe these only go to three. That's pretty sad. Oh no, it's not what I meant to do. I right-clicked on him <laughs> instead of right-clicking on the food. That still doesn't open up a slot, though. 
Um. Yeah, we'll just have to leave it. It's not that much. So we've got two rooms. Or three rooms, actually. And a couple of hallways. Let's go at least one more room. Minimize the chance of battle. Because he's still got his damage bonus here. I should have used uh, the antiquarian to open that. I really don't know if it makes a difference, but it definitely seems to. Oh, good. We've surprised him. This is always good for us. A pull on him again. Nice critical again. <laughs> Deja vu. Okay. A uh, big dodge for everybody would be awesome. I arguably could have festering vapored a few of these folks. 45% resistance here. Ah, oh, come on, Leopard. Huguenin. Please, please hit this. It's a, only a 61% chance. But please hit this. Nice. Whoa. Madmen are some of my least favorite characters in this game. Whoa. Vomited on. Wow. Definitely need some healings up here. Significant ones as well. Let's continue with the uh, buff to resistances here. And please. Nice. That's a decent heal right there. He is bleeding now, though, of course. Let's give him a bandage to minimize that. Uh, increase our protection. Well, I probably should have just attacked him. Nice dodge. Nice dodge again. Very good. Okay. Uh, they're both at 30. 94% to hit him. Good. Okay, ball and chain. Nice dodge there as well. And I would not... I would not resist increasing dodge for everybody. He does have protection, so let's reduce this before we do heals. I'll try to do heals next round if I can. Butcher's cut. Nice dodge. Beautiful. Getting a little bit of luck here. Ow. A dizzying blow to body and brain. It was indeed. Severe crit. His move resistance is really high. Let's just go for a chop. Wow. His accuracy is really low, I have to admit. Both of their blight resistances are pretty high, so let's go for a stun back here. Worked. Okay. Some heals would be nice. Nice critical. I'd like to see that again with uh, big heals would be... Whoa, good dodge. Pretty fantastic. A six again. That's not bad. And he resisted the bleed this time. So it's considerable. Ouch. This does not relent. Can attempt to stun here. It worked. And I think another bandage is in order. We'll go for a chop. There we go. That's the kind of damage I was looking for. From him. Okay, another heal. I probably should have done the dodge buff. Looks like we have one more round of seven... Okay, he doesn't have the bonus, and he's dead. So we should get to chop this guy pretty good. Okay, ouch. Four isn't that bad, actually. Come on. 17, that's what I'm talking about. And resisted the bleed. Oh. I didn't take the time to look and see what his uh, hit percentage was. But I figured that it would be considerable. Resisted the blight. Uh, weakening curse? Yeah. Or reduce his protection. Now we should be able to finish him off with the manacles. Okay, resisted. Nice. Obliterated. There we go. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Um. We could go for that. Oh, never mind. 
We're going to have to get rid of these to get the crate here. Have I been passing up? No. So it's got to be within these hallways then, which is hilarious. We went through this entire dungeon. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. Yeah, let's go for the full. Uh, increase stress. Increases self stress. Reduces companion stress. I think we could suffer the 20% hit point damage because we still have some food that we could heal up with. So let's do that so we can minimize everybody's stress here. Uh, we could reduce our own stress a little bit. Encourage over here. Uh, let's, yeah. It's worth it to prevent the ambush. I wish she could encourage herself. That would be pretty ideal. He can do it, though. And, let's see, 26, 25. Alright, you got it. Cool. That was a quick camp. That's right. The light, the promise of safety. Still no scouting chance, which is unfortunate. Clearly. Ambushed by foul invention. Resisted the bleed, that's good. Still no scouting. We may have to end up coming back for this, which would be unfortunate. Okay. Dodge. Uh. Let's weaken him. Okay. Stressed. Uh, let's do a manacles on him. Five damage, that's not bad. He doesn't have the, uh, the damage buff anymore. A munch. Ouch. Resisted. Nice. Decimated. Very nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's improve his resistances even further. A pull for this guy would be nice. Nice critical. He may die to the manacles. Ball and chain. Ow. Resist, please. Good job. Perfect. This is going very well for us so far. Nice. Nice damage there. Uh, One more heals here, I think. We probably should have gone here, but it, it'll be fine in the long run. One more weak. We can curse there. So he does minimal damage, and he's dead. So he does absolute minimal damage. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh, you quiet down. I can be proud of my folks if I feel it's necessary. Yeah, we're just going to drop this cash uh, when we get to the next place, so we could get to here. As a matter of fact, wealth beyond measure. Yep. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I imagine the shovels will probably be next to go. Oh yeah, this thing. I don't think we're gonna try this one this time. I think we'll leave it where it is. What wounds? You weren't even hurt. It is good that she heals herself, though. Uh, we could pull this guy. 45% resistance. Let's try, please. Nice. So we can hopefully hurry up and kill him. There we go. Minimal stress for us. This guy's probably going to be next if we can work it out. Ooh, nice dodge there. Very proud. Oh, I was hoping for the same, but no such luck. Good resistance, though. Very proud. Um, 
We could try to go ahead and fester somebody. Actually, all of their blight resistance is pretty high anyway. Let's go for a heals here. A momentary abatement. Uh, manacles. He's actually got an insane uh, resistance there. So I think here is our best bet. Okay, it worked. Vomiting. Gross. Let's see if we can work together then to pull this fool towards the front. Nice. And then hopefully the leper can finish him off. Come on, resist. Oh, tapeworm. Gross. I think he's got a couple of diseases now from this battle. Or from this uh, dungeon run. Okay, more dodge would be ideal. Prevent some damage here. A big weakening would be good on him. If we could get rid of some of these uh, corpses too. I guess that's his deal. Um, see, they're both pretty resistant to everything. 130% uh, base. So it's still only about 50% for this guy. 95, 70. So this is our best attack there. Resisted, of course. No surprise. Ouch. Come on. Ooh, a level 2 resisted your stun. How do you feel about that? Big purge would be nice. It's not worth it, though. I don't think that's worth it either. 81. Nice. Since it was a crit, it leaves no corpse. He's within attack range now. Uh, plus three speed as well. I don't see how that's going to benefit us yet. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Nice. It's back up to full. You're fine. Nice. Yeah. That's right, stress relief. Try again. Just for the damage. Wow. Seize this momentum. I'll try. Push on to the task's end. I probably should have uh, should have seized those crests, as a matter of fact. Stack of books. Ah, oh, of course. Weak grip on life. So she gained Irrepressible. But now she has a minus 10% death blow resistance, which at 57 is... Uh, that needs to be gotten rid of. Fear of Eldritch. Probably also ought to be gotten rid of. Here it is. Uh, the shovel is of no further use to us. Glittering gold. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Perfect. Our supplies are replenished. The soldiers will feast tonight. That's right. So 10,000 gold, that pays for our trip out here, at least. Uh, six busts only. Three portraits, three deeds. 24 crests is pretty nice, though. And we did get the Beast Slayer's ring. Oh, everybody's disease except for Castellan. How would I even pronounce this? Castillon? Maybe? Fast Healer, the Red Plague as well. So he's got several diseases now. Um, oh, Huguenin is level 5. That's excellent. Uh, Burguet is up to level 6. Light Sensitive, that's not good. It replaced Ruminator. Uh, I, I don't remember what that does. And Bulimic as well. Reduced healing skills while camping. Dachnomania, obsessed with killing. So she actually has some several negative quirks that need to be gotten rid of, but she did level up. So several level ups, a little experience for Hodin, Hodini, and uh, Hodink. I think that's a C, actually. But anyways, if you want to catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.